Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a little parcel that's just arrived. I thought, oh right, I'll uh, have a look at this and see what it is. I'm sure it's a diamond painting one. I've not opened it. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look and see. This video may be the shortest video in history if it's not what I'm thinking it is. Because <laughs> as you know, uh, we do order an awful lot from Amazon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, it's definitely diamond painting. That's good. That's good. Right. So it is. Oh, cutie pop diamond stickers. Right. So let's see. It's supposed to be a little set of Christmas diamond painting stickers with four piece wooden slices. So it's supposed to be Christmas decorations. And I just thought, OK, we'll have a look because I've got quite a few um, coasters to do. And I thought, I wonder if we can turn decorations into coasters or coasters into decorations. And oh, oh, look, not had that in a, a little kit before. Okay, all right, nice. Quite like the little box as well. If you're wanting to get a little present for somebody, that's quite a nice little box. I do like the name as well, Cutie Pop. <laughs> so, yeah, it gives us all the instructions on the back as well. Okay, it's come very, yeah. Uh, well, it's come through very well. It's only come from Amazon in this country, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it's not got squished or anything. Nice little box. Okay, so we've got our diamond. Ooh, ooh got sparklers as well. Wow, they seem to be uh, making a lot more of an appearance now. Okay, and I've just seen some little old things as well. Oh, heck. Okay, so I suppose that's all part of the toolkit. Uh, oh, grip seal bags as well. So, right. And we've got four little ornaments. And then you have your stickers to put on them. So, we've got this cute little snowman. He's sweet. Okay, so it's just literally the snowman on it. Just like we've got some stars around him as well. Nice. Ooh, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Do you know, we used to have an English teacher at school. And she used to say to us, if we ever put a nice in a story or an essay, uh, we had to then write out 10 times another word for nice. We weren't allowed to use the word nice. <laughs> and I still think about that now when I use it. So I've just said it about 300 times in this video already. Anyway, so yes, it's pretty. It's going to be pretty. It looks like it's, oh, it might all be the twinklers. It's number one. And then some stars around it. Okay. And then we have Santa's little sleigh with a few different colours. They've all got the little stars on. These are going to be very pretty. So they're all sort of part of a theme, um, apart from the snowflake, I suppose. He's one on his own. And then we've got a little Santa. Actually, he's quite a nice little Santa with his uh, sack there all tied up, ready. So, yeah, sometimes you get odd faces on Santa's, but that's quite a nice one. Okay. So we have our four stickers. That one's got an extra bit there. Look on the white bit there. All cut out, ready to diamond paint. So let's have a look. They're all, I believe, the die cut. Yep. So they're die cut stickers. So you just literally take them off the backing. The front. Oh, now that's... Uh, Oh no, that's where the star is. I was just thinking the whole of the background then was sticky, but it's not. No, it's just where that star is. I just happened to put my finger on the star. <laughs> that's how I find stars these days. Stick my big mitts all over them. Uh, right, so yeah, so it just literally is your round. And then once you've diamond painted it, I would suggest sealing it. Um, purely because if you're going to be putting it on the Christmas tree or using it for something, it probably does need sealing. If I can get into these, where's the end? <laughs> where's the end? Okay, so we've got our little, like, uh, wooden, like, I suppose it's like plywood, but again, it's uh, like a couple of layers stuck together. I don't know if this is three, no, it's just... Yeah, it's like a layer in the middle and then the outsides. Just the way I suppose you could decorate them however you want. You don't have to use them for the stickers, but the stickers will... Yeah, they've been cut, looks like, exactly to the size of these, which is really good. So it will cover all one side and then your other side's blank. Now, if you were going to do that, I would probably just use, say, a Pro Marker or an alcohol pen and just cover the back. 
um, or you could just literally stick some random stars or gems on it, anything like that. But yeah, these are quite nice, quite nicely finished off. They're uh, not rough at all. Uh, yeah, looks like they're all laser cut because they've got, I think that's how you get the brown edges on things when the laser cut things out. That's quite intricate to do, isn't it? But uh, yeah, so that's our four little rounds there. And then we have the four bits of twine string, which again is like rustic looking to go with the wood. Um, and I, I quite like that look, albeit if you've got any ribbons or whatever, you can soon add a bit of red ribbon or a bit of gold ribbon. Or it does seem as though we've got quite a bit of silver, so if you've got any of that silver thread or even wrapping paper, um, wrapping paper, wrapping ribbons, you know, the, the pull ribbons that you get, you could even put one of those on. So very pretty, like those. So we've got, I would think there's probably about 20 little grip seal bags in there, plenty to go at. A look at this i'm impressed with this though uh, the whole of this kit cost uh, five pounds 99 and it was free shipping with uh, amazon prime so i mean to be honest if they were like a pound each and then two pound for your toolkit and drill wasn't yeah i think you can pay more than that for one of these so yeah this is one of your sticky mats um, and it's like tacky on one side so if you're uh, diamond painting on an, an angle then if you just take one of the sides off and um, stick it to a surface i'm not going to take the other sticky part off then when you're using your tray see if i can get into this <laughs> they don't make life easy okay so ooh, oh gosh that's a lot of wax as well so if you've got your tray you can pop it onto there I mean, obviously, if you tip it upside down, then your drills will slide out. But it just means if you're working on an angle, then your tray is not going to uh, slip off your desk because it's stuck to your sticky mat. I also like it as well because when I've finished diamond painting, I can put my pen down and my pen sticks to it as well. So, yeah, even your acrylic ones, within reason, will stick to it. So, And then if you find that they become a bit fluffy or they come a bit untacky, then if you just run them under the tap and leave them to dry, then uh, they become tacky again. But, uh, yeah, excellent. I like that. Wow, I didn't expect that in the toolkit. It's a great little sort of starter present this for somebody or something for uh, the kids to do coming up to Christmas, make their own little decorations. Uh, if you've got any spare drills left over, they could even spell out their name in the drills. If you just write in block capital letters, A, B, C, whatever, then you can just put um, some glue over the drills and just put some drills on. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, right, I'll just finish looking at the toolkit list. <laughs> so we've just got two standard pink pens with the three places, the old style, okay got a little green boat and as you saw this is actually a moss for boat and I know that because it says so underneath there but I got it the right way up you yeah, have <laughs> don't know whether you can just quite catch yeah you can see that look moss for don't know why they call that but they tend to have the ridges on the bottom whereas the other white ones tend to be uh, flat on the bottom and these have the ridges on the inside of the tray go further up into like the spout area whereas the smaller ones or the ones with the flat bases uh, tend to the um, ridges just come up to there so you do get a little bit more ridge as it were with those and then that's a lot of little bits of wax look I think we've got six pieces six little squares of wax so it's a, it's over a standard toolkit shall we say okay so I think that's quite good quite like that Put that's in there that's in there okay and now let's have a look at the drills right so we start off with number one which seems to be all the snow and all the white bits which is a silver twinkler which is uh, one of your little um silver gems that has an iridescent coating on and oh well, you can see the stars there if you look at the difference between a plain silver and and one of the iridescent coated silvers so they've got this name twinklers i believe something like that sparklers or twinklers i'll call them twinklers i like them better uh, and yeah so you, you just get that extra sparkle with them 
So the snowflake is going to be all of those and all of the white bits on the snowman, uh, Santa and on the sled as well. Just got and then your standard uh, acrylic dress drills, which is black, Christmas red, Christmas green, and oh, that is is it AB coated? I believe it is. So, yeah, we've got some yellow, which is the parcel, um, and on Santa's little belt there, and on his sack uh, tie there, the ribbon on his sack, uh, they're actually an Aurora Borealis coating which is your iridescent coating on your gems. It just gives them, again, extra little bits of colour. I don't know whether it's showing up, but that's a surprise as well. And just a little kit, um, which again, $5.99, great price. A little bit of brown, and then all your little twinkly stars, which are on all of them in the background. So all of the uh, sky has all the little night stars twinkling away. Oh wow, I'm uh, really impressed with this. I, saw, I ordered it, I saw them and I thought, oh, shall I get some? Um, let's have a look and see what they're like. And yeah, I have to say that I am quite impressed. Nice little set. I wonder if these stickers will go on the coasters that I've got. Okay, so if you were with me in summer, you'll maybe remember I got this set of, what have I got, two, four, six uh, wooden coasters and these were from... The works which is like a craft book and um, all sorts shop in the UK and uh, yeah they're really nice and I haven't managed to decorate them yet I did get them with the intention of decorating them and I just wondered how big the stickers were oh they'd be a little bit small but then maybe you could put some larger gems around the edge mm. okay let me just I don't really want to stick them down. I just wanted to see what size they were. Now I can't get this off. Look, my nails are in a terrible state at the moment because, uh, as you know, we've been doing a lot of tidying out and things, and you know, just seem to get them all to a similar length, and then one of them will snap. So, yeah, it is quite, without taking it off, I think you can see it is quite a bit uh, smaller. So I would have to do something with those. Maybe again use a pro marker or something. But it's just an idea to decorate these. Um, I'm intending on possibly putting Scotty dogs on them. I have got my Scotty dog that I made um, from gems. And then I thought I would completely then cover around the edges of the Scotty dog. Uh, so yeah, but okay. And then the other thing I've got is I did get this set last year um from craft buddy i believe it was like um, a free gift with the creating craft club which is um a tv shopping channel and i've got a funny feeling that these are exactly the same sort of thing They're, yeah they are look they've even got the twinkly gems in as well just different colors so Right, and did we get three? No, we only got three, look. Yeah, they are, they are they're identical. Right, so I have some more to do then as well. But these were all like generic ones, a bow, uh, a snowflake and a star. But uh, they must be made by the same people. So yeah, I've got those to do as well. Okay, so that's interesting. So I've actually got seven. Right, and I've got six coasters, so I could put them on the coasters and then you see I can use these for something else. Ideas, ideas. I do like to mix and match things. Um, yeah, this is the one that uh, I got, as I say, from Craft Buddy Crystal Art. And yeah, I believe it was one of the, well, I say free gift. It's one of those club gifts where you pay two ninety nine postage um, and then you get the gift. So you're basically paying two ninety nine. But uh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's quite pretty actually looking at that now. Mm, oh, I think I'm going to have to have a go at doing these. Right. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have that much to do this Christmas. My house will just be literally covered. So that was those three. But as I say, that was last year's special offer. It's interesting to see that they are the same and even the same string as well. Right, let's give these a quick measure. I've got a bed in the corner for Millie and for whatever reason she's decided to just go on the floor now and watch me from behind. So I don't know what's going on. 
<laughs> Millie's our little Scottish Terrier. Uh, right, so yeah, they're a three inch round, which is about seven and a half centimetres. And then they'll be a little bit bigger this way because of the top, the fastening bit. So that's three and a half inches, which is nine centimetres. And then the stickers should be, yep, three inches. So they fit exactly onto them. Okay, see nice quality as well. You know, they're not um, too flimsy. I keep trying to take it off there and that's the backing. <laughs> it comes off here, look Liz, it comes off here. But yeah, nice that the die cut so you can just peel it off. But yeah, it's a good solid thick sticker. It's not uh, a real thin flimsy one. So it should go down quite nicely when uh, I put it onto the wooden bits or I put it onto my coasters. So many ideas. Okay, well, just a quick little video, just having a look at my little, this is one of my midnight bars, you know, when you're just having a look through and seeing if there's anything special going on. And yes, there was. There was these stickers and I thought, yeah, I'm going to get those and see what they're like. Might have to now look and see if I can get some slightly bigger stickers or whether I'm going to use these. I think we can get them. So they're about nine and a half centimetres, which is three and three quarter inches. That would be a very big sticker. So I'll have to see you with that one. Okay, well, thank you ever so much for uh, coming along and having a look at these with me. Um, if you've enjoyed looking at them, uh, then a thumbs up as always is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below. And if you would like to come back and see what I actually get done with these, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. Uh, you'll also become a member of our little family. Yay! So thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.